this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how we can use a piece of software called FBI Assistant to create the basic alias surfaces. And I will do it for Tom Conti International Airport, Mike Hotel, Tango Golf. FBI Assistant is a software that we can go to this website www.fpaassistant.com and we can get some idea of what it does so it tells you if you're a flight procedure designer or if you are an aviation software developer and you can get more info so this is like an app or an SDK that can allow you to create your own software based on these libraries now you can install it on several uh, machines but I'm going to be using the Microsoft Store to download and install in my computer so I already have it here on the Microsoft Store and from here you can check that this is an assistant for aviation and flight procedure design work it's based on ICAO concepts and FAA terms it's used it's an app that is being developed using the FBA assistant SDK so it's like a showcase of what you could do if you had the SDK now if you don't want to program and use the SDK then you just want to focus on using some of the tools that are available in this app you can just download it I already have download and it has a lot of features like um, where is the airport located how to encode the S bus or the fast data block the minimum deceleration distance some geodetic calculations and we are going to be focusing for this video on the basic ILS surfaces now the basic ILS surfaces are one of the most and the name tells you basic ways on evaluating the ILS for obstacles normally we would be using the OIS or CRM but this gives you pretty much an idea that if you have problems with the basic ILS surfaces it means you have some issues with your annex 14 obstacle limitation surfaces especially if they are around the approach and misapproach areas as these basic alias surfaces are derived from those now if we go to pansops we're going to be getting this diagram here where it tells you well this is the basic alias surfaces and you can notice that you have the two percent approach till point the 2.5 percent until another point and the misapproach surfaces and this needs to extend up to 300 meters all around except in the approach direction it needs to be extended until the final approach point now for this um, template because it's just a template we're not going to be extended until the fab although it kind of covers it most of the time so it's not really that relevant for this case so now that we have this FBA assistant installed we can just open it and once we have opened it we can see some options on the left and here if we click on this little hamburger icon you can expand this menu here and we want to go to where it says pan soft. and we're going to be choosing the basic ILS surfaces because this is what we want now to start the software is going to tell take you um, to your location so I'm in Honduras it's uh, near Honduras this is the airport this is where we're going to be creating a surface and you can just click on the map is going to take the values there and you can create the display but we want to be a little bit more exact and we can change the map style to aerial zoom a lot here and click and get the values something like this or like in my case we're going to be using the um, EIP from Honduras so I already have here the AIP from Honduras I'm in the relevant section and what I want to create is I do know that runway 02 is like the most used one so I'm going to be selecting 1403 in this case 16.80 so I'll just click that 16.80 now we're going to do the other one which is 087 1309.77 so we were pretty close but not the correct values so 0977 and now we need to declare both the bearing and the elevation so for the bearing it's going to be 198.99 that's the geo we want the true not the magnetic thing that's a lot the complexity there change and the elevation is 32 32 so i'm going to be putting this bearing and for this one it's already know it's 32 32 and now i can click on the display so now we have the display we can just zoom out and there we have we have our basic ils surfaces 
created. Now let's check if everything is okay. We have it in the wrong direction. You see it's, this is the misapproach and this is the approach. So we can fix that. So in this case, the FBA assistant already takes into account that you changed the direction. So from the AIP, it means that I need to take 0.1899. So I need to do this, but first I'm going to click clear the map and display again because I don't want to have overlaps showing. Okay, so now I have my correct approach. So this is my approach and my misapproach. Now it looks okay. okay. So the next step is I can save to GML. Now here I can like zoom in and like have like the Google Earth type of thing, but I cannot change the style of this. So I'm just going to export it and save it as a GML. So I'm going to save it as a 3D polygon and I'm going to save it here on my desktop. So I'm going to put it as number two. Okay, so that's there. Now I'm going to open QGIS and we're going to do a few more things so we can uh, load it up in Google Earth. So now I have here my uh, QGIS and I need to add some base map just to check where I am. I usually like to use the open strip map standard. So I'm here and then I'm going to be zoom zooming into Tegucigalpa. So depending of course of your internet connection, it's going to be slower or faster. So I'm here in Tegucigalpa. And one of the nice things about QGIS is that you can just drag and drop your GML. So in this case, I'm just dragging and dropping this GML. I can open to see what it's exported. And in this case, it's just bringing in the GML ID, no other information is provided. So now we want to export this to um, Google Earth. Now, the first thing that we need to do is densify this. Densify means adding more vertices. And the, the thing is the earth is not round as we move further and the distances get larger if we do not densify it then we're going to have some strange behavior occurring so i just do a densification i'm just going to be using 0.001 as my interval and now i have another layer and you can see if i click here and show the vertices now i have a lot of vertices and if I right click here, we can see that the Z geometry, which is brought from the FBA assistant is automatically calculated in the densified geometry. So nothing there to do. So now we're just going to export this. We want to save this feature as a KML and we want to say, well, let's say we want to keep the symbology and we're going to force it to be a polygon with z dimension and here we want to put the absolute mode and we don't have any other information so now we just need to put a file name and export so let's call this my hotel tango golf basic ils and services Okay. And now we can click OK and export. Usually we need to save a browse path where we want this. So now I have it here and I don't want to see it in the map. Okay, everything's fine. Now we're going to open it in Google Earth. And then we can double click on it to show it in Google Earth. Okay, so now we have it in Google Earth. And what I need to do is apply some styling. So I'm just going to go to here sure my style I usually like to use some colors like this just so we can see it and of course we need to set some opacity and there you have it so these are the basic ILS surfaces for Michael Tell Tango Golf don't continue you can see here you got a little bit of penetrations and we haven't extended yet our surfaces to the fab so the fab will be a little bit further along here so we can see that there are a lot of penetrations there's this mountain here there's some uh, we don't see it here but there are let me check if i can zoom in there's some uh, wind turbines here there you go so it's turbine here turbine here okay so a lot of turbines here and they are of course in the approach path so if you ever wonder why and uh, there's no ils so basically it's a mountainous area so, uh, a mountainous area zone you got a lot of penetrations and well yeah and you can see here even very close to the runway there are some penetrations so what's the next step the next step will be to do the um optical assessment surfaces the ois and try to see if we can have any gain in the obstacle penetrations and other considerations from the operational point of view and this video tried to show how you can create basic ls surfaces using FPS system and then you can check against what you normally use if you use CAD or GIS or other software and you can compare between those hopefully you have found value in this video